Governor Snyder spent 53 minutes talking about his successes in the last seven years, and he talked about what he plans to do with the last 11 months of his term. Now, it was 25 minutes into his speech that he jumped right into the Flint water crisis, a crisis that many believe will be forever attached to his legacy. So what exactly is pink heroin? Well, it's an experimental synthetic pain reliever called U47700, developed in the 1970s by the pharmaceutical manufacturer Upjohn in Kalamazoo. It was a research drug that never came to market, but why the name pink? It's the color of the actual synthetic opioid. It doesn't necessarily make the heroin pink. Well, when it was patented, its chemical makeup was made public and variations are being produced overseas. I am down here on the bricks right now. I'm actually standing in a sea of concert goers because tonight is the big concert that is back here downtown. It was really important to bring the concert back to the bricks. Now, Mayor Weaver told me that she wrote a letter to the governor. As you know, we aired that on TV5 News. Also, she says the governor talked to her on the phone. She is expected to meet with him next week. She says she has a lot of things that she wants to say to him. She also referred to him as being insensitive for closing the pods. And from that interview, we've uncovered new information and a story you'll see only on TV5. Is this a fake transcript, Lisa? I have worked with UAF and determined that it is either a fake transcript or something that was a mix-up in the order. Lisa Stuffel wants to share her side of the story while Saginaw County investigates her educational background to determine if she has a required bachelor's degree for the animal control position. In question, a transcript submitted with her application. I actually ordered that from the school's website um, and it was mailed directly to the county. Stuffel says the University of Alaska Fairbanks uses a third-party company called Parchment to fulfill transcript orders. On her order, she says she graduated from the university with a degree in business administration. These course numbers don't match with what the University of Alaska offers for a bachelor's of administration, business administration. Right. And later what I found as I discussed even with the county. In 2008, I was diagnosed with PTSD from a domestic violence situation. The last classes I took in 2009, 2010 were law classes that were not degree related, but something I wanted to do to learn more about what I was doing in animal control, and they were with UAF. So in the process of moving and applying for the position here, I inadvertently put University of Alaska Fairbanks. Stuffel now says her degree was actually from Wayland Baptist University. She showed us this diploma. However, on her transcript order and also on her job application with Saginaw County, she put the University of Alaska Fairbanks as the school where she obtained a bachelor's degree. It certainly does not look good um, at all, and I understand that, and that's part of what I've been working with with the with, uh, University of Alaska Fairbanks as well as the county. Stuffel says the registrar's office at Wayland Baptist University told her it can't find her transcript. When we reached down to the university, they told us they do not lose transcripts, stating they have them dating back to 1909 when the university was founded, and they don't have one for Lisa. TV5 discovered a novelty transcript company called DiplomasInTranscripts.com. For $60, you can customize a transcript to the school of your choice, field of study, and grade point average. The course numbers on the site's mock-up transcript match the numbers on Stuffles. This wasn't ordered from DiplomasInTranscripts.com as a fake transcript? No. It was ordered from Parchment. Stuffel believes because of the confusion surrounding the transcript, she will be terminated, saying the county won't be able to verify her education in a timely manner. Should you resign because of the inaccuracies on your application? There is part of me that as I've tried to rebuild this, there's that old part of me that says, you know what, just, just give up and walk away. I did that once. And I... I ended up spending eight years of my life trying to get a wrong decision where I'd signed that affidavit, made right. So at this point, I'm, um, I'm not really sure the answer to that question other than I don't want to walk away from Saginaw County and I don't want to walk away from the animals. Now we've reached out to Saginaw County for information regarding the investigation. We have not heard back. 